When director David Lean's legendary film Lawrence of Arabia made its debut in 1962, moviegoers as well as theater owners thought the film was way too long, so it was cut down. And throughout the years that followed, Lawrence continued to be cut again and again to the point that the movie began to make no sense at all. When we got the material back from Metro, we found out the negative had not only been cut once, been cut twice. And not only could we not produce the 222-minute version because the material wasn't in it and no one knew where it was, but we couldn't produce the 202-minute version, which is the version that everyone knows today. The only thing that we could have produced frame by frame was the 187-minute version, which was this emasculated cut. Restoration artist Bob Harris spent two and a half years piecing the film back together along with Lawrence's original editor, Ann Coates. I think we were very lucky to find all the negative the way we did. And I think it's probably because it was on 70 millimeter, it was in a separate vault. Normally, normally when a film has been out, I don't know, but I think it's five years or so, they junk all the, uh, all the out negative. They only keep the actual film negative itself. But the stuff that's been cut out, they junk. But luckily, Lawrence, it never got junked. But the sound was kept at a separate place. That was the, f the picture that was kept at Technicolor. But the sound was kept at Shepperton Studios where we'd mixed it. And it was put in the vaults there where it was probably filed away. But they were then sold. In fact, they were sold twice. And obviously the vaults were just cleared out and everything was junked. Replacing the sound was the most difficult part of restoring Lawrence. Several of the film's actors were called in to revoice their parts without the help of a script. All you want is someone holding down the Turkish right. But I'm going to give them Damascus. We'll get there before you do. And when we've got it, we'll keep it. Because of Lawrence's re-release, many of the cast and crew have reunited, including the film's composer Maurice Jarre. And although Lawrence was Jarre's first big project 27 years ago, he still remembers quite vividly how hard he worked on the film. I had about five, between five and six weeks to do all the score and the, all the music and the conducting. So it was really uh, hard. I just, uh, I remember during these uh, six weeks, I, I uh, practically s slept about two hours uh, average a night. Another crew member who lost a lot of sleep while making Lawrence of Arabia was Academy Awards cinematographer Freddie Young. Young, who feels Lawrence is probably one of his best works ever, is excited that the movie has returned. Well, I think it's absolutely fantastic, yes. I'm terribly pleased. And with the, on the new stock and the Dolby sound, and uh, it, it just looks fantastic and sounds fantastic. And I think it's a marvelous idea. And these premieres that we're having is, is to, to try to persuade other people to uh, do this to other good films, to put them on new stock and give them a new lease of life.